Well, closer to home, we've seen whinging from the teals that their staff numbers have been quote unquote slashed by Anthony Albanese from four advisors to one. That is not the case. They automatically have four staff members, but Turnbull, in order to cozy up to the Greens, gave the crossbenchers, that is those who were not coalition or Labor, four extra staff, total eight. Beyond ridiculous. Anthony Albanese has said, you'll get one, which means this total staff quotient will be five. Plenty. More than every other backbencher. And I was staggered to learn that the Teal senior advisers, that is the one extra staff member that Anthony Albanese has allocated, will be entitled to, you ready? A private plated vehicle, business class airfares and higher travel allowance rates so that they can stay in better hotels. The reality is that in Canberra, we nearly have three times the army of personal staff, three times more personal staff than there are elected officials. And these highly paid advisors earn close to a backbench salary of $217,000. By the way, a backbencher is on about 250,000. Can you tell me one who earns it? But they love getting their noses in the trough, don't they? It hasn't taken the teal ACT senator and former Australian rugby captain David Pocock too long to get on the gravy train. He's whinging about losing three staffing positions, which I've explained above, and he's talking about workloads. I beg your pardon. He's a senator for the ACT, an electorate as big as a pocket handkerchief. It's got three members of parliament, two senators, and an entire territory government with a population of 430,000. Matt Cannon had to leave any of these people for dead. He writes his own speeches. Some politician should try that. He's got fewer staff than people like David Pocock. Anthony Albanese has shown common sense and guts in reducing the number of political advisers. But above all, he's shown some belated respect for taxpayers' money. We've got a trillion dollars of debt. The Labor government didn't create it, but they've got to solve it. Reducing bloated staff members is a start.